Hi, welcome to this video. I've always been a fan of the old analog radar scopes, like the ones used by air traffic control or military services back in the day. After creating the Windows application Plane Tracker, which is an analog and digital radar scope emulator, I wanted to create something more lightweight to be able to run on a single bar computer like the Raspberry Pi. So I came up with Pi Radar. Pi Radar uses ADSB data from airplanes.life or similar services like your own local receiver. It can then display those targets using a Raspberry Pi and for example here a round 5 inch touchscreen display. Other screens like a square or rectangular screen should also work. There are different modes available to show the targets. Currently you can see a very basic mode where the scan line of the radar only illuminates the targets for a very short time and they will quickly fade away. However, using the touch screen we can also change between different modes. Here we have a more advanced analog radar variant where the targets will stay on the screen for a bit longer. So after a couple of passes of the radar beam you can see the most recent target being the brightest and then the older returns being a lot more dim. After two or three passes it's possible to make out the direction of travel of each target and also the speed. Different target sizes will return different results. So for example a large target like an airliner will return more radar signal and thus creating a larger mark on the scope. A smaller target like a single engine piston aircraft or a sailplane will also only return a small amount of radar signal and the mark on the screen will be smaller. Here for example you can see a line of airliners approaching the local airports and out here at the edge of the scope you can see a couple of smaller targets. Besides the analog modes, which there are three currently, there is also a digitized variant. Here on the digitized variant each target is represented as a small white dot and each dot has a line attached to it. The line of the dot or the attachment of the dot shows the direction of travel as well as the speed of the target. It's also possible to use the touchscreen display to increase or decrease the range. Currently we have zoomed in a bit more, so this shows a bit more detail to, for closer range targets. Above and below the target there is also a text which represents the target's identification. For example its call sign or its tail number. And that's about it. If you're interested in trying out PyRadar, you can find, find the link to the GitHub down in the description and all the files like the installation guide, the program files as well as the CAD files for the case you can see here are also available on the GitHub. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want to see any more features added to PyRadar and have a nice day.